Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today is going to be a Colourpop haul. I've only got two things. So it came in this box. Well, it's two things from two different sellers. So I got this first one from Depop and that's what, um, and that's where the box is from. It's from Depop. So... I'm a little bit disappointed as I don't have the outer packaging um, but it has come like kind of second hand so can I really complain but it's this one. Isn't she beautiful and she's so me as well. It's the Colourpop Coaster Coral and if you look at it there's barely any usage if any. Um, this one looks like it's been dipped into this coral shade here and that one's called, uh, I don't know, Animanon. Or something like that um, and then this one here angel fish looks like it's been dipped into but other than that oh yeah and then this one here at all looks like it's been dipped into but other than that the other shades don't um, which I am so happy about what I'll be doing with this is I'll be sanitizing it because it's obviously come from someone's home and obviously she's used the shadows previously so I don't want to use it until I've sanitised it and that's what I always do but the next one so yeah that one's called Costa Coral if I didn't say um, so the next one it has a smell I think it's from the person that had it previously like a perfume scent on it um, so hopefully that will go the next one I actually got from Beauty Boxes by Tammy um, and she sent me a little chocolate eclair which I absolutely love so I'll be eating that later and it's just it just says thank you for your order enjoy um, and I never in a million years thought I would get this palette I thought if anything the next palette I was going to get would be the Arna one for sure but going off the Elsa one I, I don't rate it guys it's an absolutely stunning looking palette the artwork's really really good on it um, but the shadows, like especially the shimmers, are a let down and the kind of two burgundy shades are a little bit patchy. You've really got to work to not get them patchy. Um, so two shades out of nine is kind of a big deal for me. Um, I will use the palette. I do like it. Um, it's just, to me, it doesn't feel like Colourpop formula. But we'll see when we kind of, um, I want to swatch this one. Um, that's brand new and I want to show you what it looks like and what we'll do with the Costa Coral maybe swatch that once I've sanitised it so she's packed it really really well and like I said it wasn't a palette when I saw it I've, I've been seeing it around for a while now it wasn't a palette like I'm thinking oh I must go out and get that um, but I've never really looked into the colour story so you'll see why in a second so it's that one it's so cute um now i'm not a star wars fan i know nothing about star wars at all i don't even think i've watched one film um i have watched star trek just not star wars um just never appealed to me so i might butcher some of the names up um this is absolutely stunning guys so again it, it's the same as what the um, outer packaging it looks like so it looks like that and then got that little plastic and then it says here cutest in the galaxy so so pretty um i won't use the mirror i never use them and then it's got all these greens in i mean it's like it was made for me so what I want to do now is turn the camera around and I want to show you what the swatches look like and we'll um, look at them together. I've not swatched it so it will be a surprise to both of us. I'm sure online there's so many swatches of this palette. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen swatches of this palette already but I thought I would um, do some swatches while I've got it. So yeah, this is the Mandalorian palette. It's called The Child, yeah. Um, the Mandalorian, the Child Press Powder Palette. It says that on the back there. So let's go over to my vanity and we'll start doing some swatches. Right, so right off the bat, it's a topper. So I've just built that up a little bit. I don't think we were recording though. So it would be a beautiful um, inner corner highlight. I think it's the Super Shock formula. 
not 100% does it say on the back no right so the next one then it looks like there's quite a few super shock formulas in here um right hand mando Ooh, look at that that is stunning I think I'm gonna pull this for the next shot my stash absolutely stunning so this is this looks like it could be a really nice transition shade just like a tattooing um, I don't know if I've said that right so oh that's really really nice and smooth and then we've got sipping soup which is that one there real real pretty then we've got this kind of mint green shade here so that one's called a baby face I'm running out of room that is so pigmented that's more pigmented than the elf one so that is gonna look really really pretty that would probably make a really nice one and done eyeshadow as well the force um, so that's that one so pretty let's put a bit more on so that's that one there right and then we've got three mattes at the bottom oh that's one of the sequin shades again so this one is called little frog apparently they put these shades in pretty much all the palettes um, it has kind of glitters in it I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up a really nice khaki matte green then we've got float your crib which is a darker khaki I would say that's that one um, and then we've got droid port <laughs> then we've got droid protocol so I should have done this with the Elsa palette just swatches just to see what it actually looked like but I didn't um, so I might do this every time I get a Colourpop um, palette in I'll haul it and then I'll do some swatches just so you can see it um, like I said at this point you've probably seen it anyway but these are my swatches um, they're just finger swatches I've got no primer on the hands or anything like that I'm liking how they're looking um, but this one here the first shade that we swatched um, Precious Cargo is very very sheer um, but I feel like you'd be able to build it up and this one here is absolutely stunning so that one was called The Voice was it? yeah The Voice um, the shimmers look absolutely beautiful in it so you're getting what one two three four shimmers one two three four mattes and a sequin shade I've already dirtied it oh no look what I've done I hope that's gonna come off hang on right so I've I've just had to put like right so I've just had to put I've just had to put some rubbing alcohol on it just to kind of make it look half decent because colours were going everywhere when I use it it's going to become a hot mess this is why I like the plastic packaging because you can just wipe it with a wipe when it gets dirty I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to my makeup I hate it when it looks dirty but I've sanitised it anyway so that's a good thing so that just needs to kind of like get dry there I'll just show you right so I'm really really loving it on first impressions like I said um, whether it translates as good as that on the eye that's to be determined so like I said I'll probably pull it in my next eyeshadow palette shot my stash we're at least another week away from me doing that um, so yeah I can't wait to use it let me know your thoughts on what you think on the Mandalorian the child palette have you got it in your collection are you going to buy it I mean if you like green eyeshadows it's perfect for you because it is just absolutely stunning i think this will pair well with the just my look palette as well um because obviously there's greens in that palette and there's lighter shades he there's lighter shades in this palette to kind of complement it as well as well as these deeper shades down here um so yeah i'm really happy that i've got it and 
to me at the moment it does look like it's going to perform better than Elsa did um, but yeah we will see um, and I'll obviously update you when I do the three days three looks I think it'll be four days because there's four shimmers um, and I will want to try that one all over the lid like I did with the Elsa one um, but yeah really really enjoying it like on first impressions with the swatches here um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to using it yeah, let me know if you want to see this one or the Coast to Coral first and I'm more than happy to do it. I'll probably pull them both on the same day anyway. Um, so guys, this concludes the video. Thank you so, so much for watching today. I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel. It means the absolute world to me. If you're not already subscribed, why not hit that subscribe button down below and become part of our crazy little fam. Please like, it really does help out the channel. Share and comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.